Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Josh's Comics. Today I'm going to give you that all DC haul, featuring mostly Batman, but some other characters from the DC Universe. I also got some nice keys in here, so stay tuned to find out what I picked up. Alright guys, so right before we get into the haul, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and even hit the notification button so that way you get notified of when my future videos come out. As always, I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, so let's move on to um, to these books. I got some nice keys. Uh, another, you know, pickup from 360 Comics. And honestly guys, the next couple of weeks I got a lot more books coming in from him. Um, but probably later this week... Uh, I might try to meet up with him. I got some, some books I want to give him. And uh, that way I can maybe go up and go do a little hunting with him. Maybe get some footage of what we're hunting for. But uh, that would be cool. But anyway, let's just jump into the hall and, and see what we got. Um, this is Blue Beetle number one. Uh, with the recent announcement. Well, not recent announcement. But with Blue Beetle coming out later this year. And it sounds like he is going to be add it into James Gunn's universe. I think this is a good pickup. This is his first uh, solo appearance and happy to have that pickup. I also have another copy I picked up from um, Pope of Shillingtown. So now I have two. Nice to have two. Uh, not sure how big this book's going to get. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm not really, I didn't pick up two. I kind of forgot I had the first one, but it's always good to have duplicates. And I mean, if one's in, you know, I'll probably send both out. Maybe get them graded, depending on how well and successful the movie is. Um, but it's always nice to have duplicates, in my mind, of certain big books, just because, you know, if one's a higher grade, you keep one for the PC, and then you can use the other one for a trade, or you could sell it, put it towards something else. But yeah, so that was a great pickup. Uh, this another one is a nice little key. It's a Green Lantern key. It's Green Lantern 182. Um, <clears throat> I believe this is when Harold Jordan quits or stops being Green Lantern, so John Stewart steps up. And a nice little key, knowing that John Stewart and Harold Jordan are going to be a kind of detective, true detectives team up going forward in James Gunn's universe. I'm actually kind of looking forward to that show. Even though we have no idea about casting or anything, the premise of it being based off of like a true detective show, I find that very interesting, especially being, you know, out there in the Green Lantern world and doing their own thing. And I hope it's a more serious take, and I think it's pretty cool, and I think this is a nice little key. Obviously not the first John Stewart as Green Lantern. Uh, that's a big key. I mean, I would love to own it one day, but hey... This will definitely do for the time being, and I think it's a nice buy. Um, I think I only got this for like 10 bucks, and I actually have a duplicate. I have another copy of this I bought from Joe, um, which is great. So now I have two, and yeah, you know, same thing. Maybe look at getting both uh, cleaned up and pressed and sent in both, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, guys, moving on, uh, the rest of the books you're going to see in this haul are nothing but Batman. You know this. Joker, you know, Arkham Asylum Joker right here, a leather shirt. I got Batman in the background, of course. He's almost in every haul video and everything I pick up. And, uh, yeah, so moving on. This is Batman 599. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance in a little underrated key, apparently, of Henry, Henry Ducar, um, who was played by uh, Liam, uh, Liam Nelson, or... Yeah, I believe his name is Liam Wilson. In the Batman Begins film, he ends up being Ra's al Ghul. But Henry in the comics apparently was a mentor to Bruce and trained him on certain stuff. And according to Joe 360 Comics and James of Mint Hunter Comics, this is a like undervalued key. You can find this a lot in like the dollar bins. Um, I was surprised when I found out the significance behind the key because it seems like this is kind of an important part of, of Batman's history. Um, so yeah, it was a good pickup, and if you ever find this out in the wild for a dollar, even if it's less than five dollars, pick it up. And it'll be interesting with the Brave and the Bold coming out, because we know that Damian Wayne is going to be there. Obviously, it makes me wonder if Tyler's going to show up, where is she at? Obviously, um, you know, Roz too, he's, I would imagine, is going to eventually show up. I uh, hope we get to see 
get to see them again. Um, they were in the Dark Knight trilogy, which, by the way, I love. I grew up watching that. And, I, you know, they used them a bit different than you would see in the comics, which I was okay with. But uh, I like to see a more comic-accurate version of them. So, yeah, I think this is a good little pickup. Nice little key. Moving on, uh, I picked this up mainly because it's a great cover. And uh, I've already said it in a few haul videos. Uh, I've watched this film. I've watched it now like four or five times now. And it's a reprint of Batman The Long Halloween Number 1 Special Edition. It's got the cover of the Batman on it. From the characters from the movie. I love this movie. Probably... Probably my top three Batman movies, and uh, I'm excited to see Robert come back for the sequel, see what him and Matt can do. Um, I kind of got my ideas in my head off of the hints that they gave throughout the first movie. I think Hush might be a good character. Um, uh, Edward Elliot, I believe they called him. His, you know, Hush's dad was the reporter that got killed off um, by Bruce's parent, well, by Thomas Wayne. Um, in the movie, Thomas didn't kill him, but you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm wondering if his son's gonna come back for revenge. I think they kind of set that up, and they do have Hush appear, like, on the screen, word written version, even though it's from the Riddler. I feel like that's a hint. I feel like we're gonna get probably Hush in the sequel, which I'm open to. I think it's a great villain. I think we need to have that. Obviously, it's, it's probably gonna be different, because we have no mention of him in the first film, and Bruce having no idea who the reporter was. So we'll have to wait and see. But um, anyway, enough rambling on about that. Great cover. Pick that up. So it was a great buy. Uh, moving on. This is a Detective Comics 570. This I actually got from Chope, uh, not Chope, <laughs> Pope of Chili Town. Uh, he was doing, he does live sales with Joe sometimes on his Instagram live. And uh, I picked up this sweet Detective Comics cover. Uh... Just a great cover. Three, three of the most important characters in Batman's history. Obviously, Batman being number one, Catwoman, and Joker. And I think Catwoman, you know, I love that suit. Uh, I think she's very attractive like that. She's attractive in the other suits, too, but that's that's kind of a sexy cover right there. But uh, I just I think it's a great cover overall. And, you know, nice little book. So it was a cool pickup for that. Moving on. Uh, this is pretty cool. I have actually a copy of this in my collection, but like I bought it when I was like seven or eight years old. And guys, at the time when I was seven or eight, I didn't understand comics. Like, I, you know, I read comics, but like I didn't understand value and keeping them safe and, and everything. And the one I have actually, uh, I have to have to dig it up, but it's it's loaded with spine ticks and rips, and it, it just isn't beat up shape. And uh, I was looking for a replacement of it and uh this is uh, a movie special batman number one from 1989 it's the movie adoption uh love that cover you know michael keaton's coming back we're gonna get the flash trailer oh, well the flash trailer has already dropped as of this video dropping and uh i love michael and uh, i was upset to hear that there was a batman beyond film they were thinking about with him, and then they scraped it. And it sounds like Michael, while he is appearing in The Flash again, it sounds like he, this is like a one-and-done thing, unless they decide to do something different. But it sounds like James Gunn is, yeah, it's like The Flash is rebooting everything. So Michael's going to get one more last appearance as Batman. I'm excited and happy. I grew up watching this version. This is my first introduction to Batman in the 89 movie from 1989. I love those movies, and... You know, happy to see Michael come back one last time as Batman. Maybe Batman Beyond film in the future. We'll have to wait and see. But this is a great pickup, I think. And, uh, yeah, great cover. Moving on, I have a Batman 1990 Annual, number 14. And this is actually a sweet Two-Face cover. And I believe it's the origin of Two-Face Retold. And um, a lot of people try to look for this book, and, you know, <clears throat> I got a good deal on it. Um, I actually think Joe was selling another copy of it last week on his live sale. You don't see it too much pop up, but, like, when you do, it goes quick. It's definitely something that everybody wants to have, and it's a great Two-Face cover. So happy to have that in the collection. Uh, these last set of books are going to be two different sets. Um, I picked this up because... 
you know, it's Batman A and B, I love Batman, the Arkham uh, video games, and I didn't even know if they had comics for the Arkham series. They had one comic for um, Arkham Asylum, which was the first game, and then they made a bunch of comics for Arkham City, two runs on Arkham City, and then they made some comics for Arkham Knight. <clears throat> So right here, I have Batman Arkham City, the prequel to the highly anticipated video game, issue number one, all the way to issue number five. Now, I went ahead and I took these out already. I read these books, and uh, I love them. Paul Dini is the writer on it, one of the one of my favorite writers, anyway. I even have the Paul Dini Omniverse behind me on the shelf. Um, and it pretty much is the prequel leading up right up until Arkham City, or Arkham, yeah, up until Arkham City opens. It shows you how Two-Face got in there, it shows you how uh, Catwoman got put in there, and then they also have, uh, it's coming up in a future haul video, it's a 20-issue uh, series of Batman Arkham Unhinged, which is more like, kind of following through the video game, but also adding more of the story lore to it. Um, which I'll be talking about that in a future haul video, which is cool. But yeah, it's a cool pickup here. Um, anytime I can pick up a comic based off of video games and movies that will give me more backstory of characters I love or build out the world more, I'm, I'm into that. I love that. I love reading about that. So that was a cool pickup. And the last pickup, which is a, another set... Um, this is actually by Grant Morris, and as we know now, it seems like James Gunn uh, and company are going to be taking a lot of inspiration from, from James Gunn, or, or from, <laughs> from James Gunn. James Gunn's going to be taking a lot of um, inspiration from Grant Morris and, and his run, not only on Batman, but as Superman as well. And uh, so we're going to have to wait and see how closely it follows. Uh, and this would be a cool storyline eventually. Um, you know, they got like an 8 to 10 year plan, so we might see this eventually one day pay off. We'll have to see, but uh, this is The Return of Bruce Wayne, issue number 1 through 6. I actually picked this up from James of Mint Hunter Comics. He was in another claim sale with Joe, so uh, thank you to James for this. And um, this is essentially, at the end of Final Crisis, this is a bit of a spoiler if you haven't Stayed up to date with comics since 2007, I believe, is when it came out. Batman supposedly dies. Darkshed hits him with the beams, kills him. You get the panel, legendary shot of, of Superman carrying Bruce's dead body. You know, um, iconic shot, right? Come to find out that Bruce didn't really die, but... Somehow, he got transported back into, like, the beginning of time. So this is literally, like, as you can see from the cover, like, this is Bruce fighting in caveman time. He doesn't really remember who he is. And he, uh, through these six, well, five issues, he goes throughout time, with the sixth issue being him ending back up to current time, and he comes back as Batman and everything. Um, so that's issue number one. Issue number two right here is a nice cover also. This is, like, um, you know, Pilgrim Times... Uh, I believe, I want to say he's in in an early version of Gotham. It's not Gotham yet, but it's considered to be kind of like Gotham eventually. But it's just like Christopher, Christopher Columbus times. Great cover. Um, this one, issue number three, is pretty cool. He's a uh, he, you know, he's a pirate and everything. I don't know if Blackbeard shows up. Blackbeard shows up in this or anything, but uh, yeah, I know that was pretty cool. Uh, issue number four. Now, issue number four, I believe this is a uh, Cowboy Western Times. This might have been when you get more of a um, closer to like Gotham City kind of thing. And then I'm pretty sure issue number five right here is when you finally get to see Gotham City. It's not as big as we think it is. I think this is set in like this. I want to say probably early 1900s or something like that, maybe even a little bit earlier. Well, probably, yeah, probably like the 1940s or 50s, something like that. And uh, it concludes with uh, issue number six, where he finally comes back to the present day time, dons the mantle. And the great thing about these books is all throughout history, once, you know, you find out, you know, like you, you, he meets his relatives, 
you see, and in the current time too, the current time is in this, uh, so where Damien and um, Dick Grayson, who is now the, now portraying Batman, so people don't think he's gone, uh, and Alfred are finding clues like all over um, Wayne Mansion, and it's clues set out through history that Bruce put to eventually lead them onto this path of, of bringing him back, and it, it's a really great story in my mind. Grant Morrison is a writer that, like, I read his armies. I got his three armies behind me. And the first one starts off good, and then, like, it, it, it kind of jumps into a story that had nothing to do with the previous stories, and it makes you, like, it, it's different. And I feel like Grant Morrison, for what he did, he did great with the Batman run. And I'm happy to hear that his, his version is going to be used. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm sure they're going to take things from different, versions of Batman and use them as well as we always see but uh he's got a great run and I highly recommend it and some of these books I pick up even though I've already read these in the omnibus format are cool to pick up could we eventually see like you know this eight year eight to ten year plan turn out where they do like an infinite crisis storyline Batman potentially gets killed supposedly could eventually see that, you know, the rest, you know, the uh, Return of Bruce Wayne storyline. That would be cool to see live action. But we'll see, right? You know, nobody nobody really knows. And uh, I think for the next couple of years, it's just, you know, so many so many questions that are going to be answered um, going forward in the DCU. And, uh, you know, I've had some time to let it sink in. And, and like I said, I'm going to give James and uh, Peter the benefit of the doubt I, I, I'm gonna give him a shot and uh, I hope it works well I, I want to see I just want to see DC content I want to see good DC content man I'm just so tired of I'm so tired of just the movies not being up the standard and you know uh, we'll have to see what what happens with the flash we'll have to see what happens with Aquaman Blue Beetle and Zazam which I think uh, comes out in February, comes out this year, yeah, it comes out in February, right, something like that, we'll see, uh, I mean, at the same time, like, you kind of don't want to watch these films now, because whatever happens in them doesn't matter going forward, because even if they get rewritten into James's universe, it's pretty much reset, so, anyway, enough rambling on about that, um, so yeah, guys, there you go, all DC Hall, mostly Batman, uh, with a few nice keys and also other issues of other characters um I'm trying to think do we have anything big coming up oh back deck comic fest from here on out every video i do i'm gonna try to remember to mention it back deck comic fest is gonna be hosted by 360 comics on march 11th which is a saturday uh, depending on the weather. We'll have to wait and see. As the date gets closer, I'll let you guys know if there's any changes. Um, but if you follow Joe on his page at 360 Comics as well, he's he will keep mentioning it and we'll let you guys know and update it. Um, he will be there selling uh, The Collector Dude, Pope of Showy Town, and Mint Hunter Comics. All four will be there selling again. Uh, it was a great time. Check out my last... Uh, I was there for the last two uh, Back Deck Comic Fests. Back Deck Comic Fest. Um, this is Back Deck Comic Fest 3. It was a great time. Check out my other two haul videos. I got some great stuff. And I think this time I want to try to get some footage of me hunting. I know uh, other channels do that and people tend to like that. I, I just don't have, you know, with me being, you know, going out comic hunting, I kind of, you know, I don't have a, a chest camera or anything. I need to probably look for one. But maybe I go out, you know. It's getting a bit hard when you start flipping through the bins and using your phone, but I'm going to try to get some more, more footage for stuff. Uh, that's March 11th, back at Comic Fest as of right now. And then two weeks later, yeah, about two weeks later, um, King Kong 4 is happening. I was seeing King Kong 3 recently. I thought it was the third one. It's actually the fourth event. But yeah, King Kong 4 is happening. I'm going there. Uh... Great event. I cannot wait to attend my first time. I'm going to get some footage from there as well. And uh, I think it's going to be a great time. And we're going to some great books. So, yeah. That's it for the announcements. And, uh, you know, do me a favor again. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. And as always, stay safe. Take care of each other. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Josh's Comics.